it is hard to imagine a more glamorous star, and she is breaking her silence for the first time since we saw that picture of her so bruised and battered last February. Tomorrow, she will describe in detail what happened in the car with Chris Brown and why a few weeks after she decided to go back to him. It was a mistake, she says, and sent the wrong message to so many young girls enduring the same thing. So successful, so powerful, so bold. Once a little girl from the tiny island of Barbados, she had dreamed her way into one of the biggest careers in music. Starting at age 16, Rihanna would have more number one songs than any other artist in this decade. A multi-million dollar bank account, endorsement deals, a fashion star. And then one night, her equally famous boyfriend, Chris Brown, beat her so badly the whole world was shocked to discover there was a secret life. Rihanna says she was ashamed, unwilling to speak until now. To those of us who thought, how could it happen to someone so strong? I am strong. This happened to me. I didn't cause this. I didn't do it. This happened to me, and it can happen to anybody. There are a lot of women who've experienced what I did but not in the public. So it made it really difficult. I just felt like, oh my God, here goes my little bit of privacy, just exposed, like it's something that nobody wants anybody to know. So here I am, the whole world knowing. Why be ashamed? Because that, I didn't, want people to think that that's the kind of person I, I fell in love with that person that's embarrassing that's embarrassing that that's the type of person that I fell in love with so far in love so unconditional that I went back on average I think that's it takes right. a woman seven times before she leaves eight or nine actually and I don't want that to happen. That's not what I want to teach people. But again, people, you, I'm, I'm, I'm a human being and people put me on a very unrealistic pedestal and all these expectations, I'm not perfect. Also, it's pretty natural for that to be the first reaction. It, it, it's completely normal to go back. You start lying to yourself. The minute the physical wounds go away, you, you, you want this thing to go away. This is a memory you don't want to have ever again. Tomorrow, she will tell us what happened that left her so bloodied, bruised, battered, and why she went back, and what other girls she hopes will hear. When I realized that my selfish decision for love could result in, into some young girl getting killed. I could not, I could not be easy with that part. I couldn't be held responsible for telling them, go back. Chris. Even if Chris never hit me again, who's to say that their boyfriend won't? Who's to say that they won't kill these girls? And these are, these are young girls. And I could not, I just didn't realize how much of an impact I had on these girls' lives until that happened. Until that happened, it was a wake-up call. It was a wake-up call for me, big time especially when I took myself out of the situation. And I, I'll say that to any young girl who's going through domestic violence, don't react off of love. F love. To come out of the situation and look at it third person and for what it really is and then make your decision because love is so blind.
And we will have more tomorrow as she talks about the reality mm -hmm. of her life, the life we could not have imagined. An exclusive interview, and of course, the full interview will be tomorrow night on ABC's 2020 at 10 o'clock, 9 central. And weigh in Please. on Rihanna, if you will, and this whole issue on ABC.com. That she felt ashamed. Yes. You know, she is a strong woman, and it's so true how people go back time and time and time again. And she's going to explain more of that mm -hmm. and what you're thinking and saying to yourself and also the moment that she realized fully what she was doing.